Hi, I'm Roxy. I'm a zoology student and I'm also one of the leads in the LGBTQ network. I work for the Students' Union as the group administrator. My pronouns are she, her, they or them and I identify as bisexual. So my story started fairly recently. It's only really my mid-twenties that I started to identify as bisexual. I think that's because I'd been in long-term relationships from age 16 to 22, 23, both with men, so I'd not had chance to look at that side of my identity. Uh, when the last relationship did end, that's when I started to explore that side, um, but it still took me a while to really identify as bisexual because I hadn't been on any dates or anything with women, so I wasn't too sure, and it also took me quite a while to tell people as well. Fortunately, the people that I have told have been quite accepting and positive of it, so it has been a good experience for me so far. A historical moment for me that stands out is when I watched Laverne Cox's character on Orange is the New Black. It showed her character going through her transition, and to see it being done in a sensitive, serious manner, I found it really refreshing. Normally, transgender is something that's used as a cheap gag for laughs and it's done very, very poorly, obviously. Um, so to see it being done that way is was really good. Um, there's also a song that I love called um, Natural Born Sinner by In This Moment. And that's all about the vocalist coming out as bisexual in quite a religious area. And she turns it from negative experience into something really positive. And I think it's important to have that kind of media out there, both TV, films and music, because the media, it, it influences so much in society. It shows us what's acceptable, what's not acceptable, what's understood. So to have more stories, more of our LGBTQ stories out there, it'll help society get a better understanding of what it's actually like and what it's all about. And it'll help normalise it for future generations as well. So I do love seeing stuff like that in the media and in popular TV shows and music. As the LGBTQ lead, I would love for people to come and join us. Whether you're part of the community or an ally, it's there as a safe space for everyone. Right now, we're in the middle of a lockdown. There's going to be people stuck in houses or in communities that don't accept them and they're going to feel really quite trapped and lonely. So to have this place to go to where they can make friends with like-minded people and be accepted, I think that is incredibly important. So I would love for people to join and help us build this network up. We also meet every month. Right now it's done online obviously, but it's just a way for us to get to know each other. And we've also nominated Mind Out as a charity to support. So that's a charity that is focused on mental health. It's run by people in the LGBTQ community and it is for people in the LGBTQ community. So I think that is a really important and really great chance to help out.